Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today, we are diving into the world of Amazon FBA, exploring how it works and the various business models you can choose from. Whether you are a beginner looking to get started or someone curious about the advantages and disadvantages of this platform, stick around, we've got you covered. Let us start with the basics. Amazon FBA stands for Fulfillment by Amazon. And it is a popular way for individuals to make money by selling products on Amazon. But how does it work? Imagine, you want to start selling products on Amazon. Your first step is to find a product that is suitable for selling on the platform. We will walk you through the product research phase to help you make informed choices. Once you have found a promising product, your next task is to locate a manufacturer or supplier capable of producing it for you. Amazon sellers don't typically manufacture their products. Instead, they source them from suppliers. After identifying a reliable manufacturer, you will place an order for a specific quantity of products. The supplier then takes care of manufacturing those products for you. Once your products are ready, you will instruct your supplier to ship them to an Amazon warehouse, often referred to as an Amazon Fulfillment Center. This is where Amazon's role becomes crucial. With your product safety stored in Amazon's warehouse, you can create a listing for your products on the Amazon Marketplace. Customers can discover your product, make purchases, and trust Amazon to handle the rest. Amazon takes care of shipping the product to the customer, managing returns, and providing customer support. Your responsibility is to ensure a steady supply of products to Amazon's warehouse, so you never run out of stock and can continue selling on the platform. Now, it is essential to grasp the distinction between fulfillment by Amazon and fulfillment by merchant. We will focus on FBA for this video, but it is good to know the difference. In FBA, once a customer places an order for your product on Amazon, Amazon takes full responsibility for fulfilling that order, including shipping it to the customer. In contrast, FBM or Fulfillment by Merchant places the responsibility of shipping the product to the customer squarely on your shoulders. You act as the seller and handle the fulfillment process independently. Let us explore the primary business models available for selling on Amazon. There are four main approaches. First, we have Wholesale. Wholesale sellers buy products in bulk from established brands and resell them on Amazon for a profit. Second is Retail Arbitrage. Retail Arbitrage involves finding discounted products from retailers and listing them on Amazon to sell at a profit. Third, there is Dropshipping. Dropshippers create listings for specific products on Amazon and when a customer buys, instruct their supplier to ship the product directly to the customer. Finally, private labeling, which we will focus on the next videos. With private labeling, you identify products already selling on Amazon, then offer the same product or an improved version with your branding. Private labeling allows you to sell high quality, branded products at premium prices offering excellent profit margins. Let us wrap by discussing the advantages and disadvantages of starting an FBA business. One of the most significant advantages is leveraging Amazon's brand and infrastructure. Amazon is the world's largest e-commerce platform, providing access to millions of potential customers. You can also benefit from Amazon's infrastructure as they handle warehousing, shipping, and even customer support. Prime shipping ensures speedy delivery to customers. Once established, an FBA business can run relatively passively, making it an ideal side hustle that can grow into a full-time endeavor. The business also offers location independence, requiring only a computer and an internet connection to operate. However, Amazon's rules and policies must be followed, and you are dependent on their platform. You will incur fees for each sale, and building a customer list can be challenging. Despite these drawbacks, many consider Amazon FBA one of the best business models available today. That wraps up 
our comprehensive guide of how Amazon FBA works. In conclusion, my next videos will discuss the topic of concluding Amazon product research. I hope this video helps you out. Thank you for watching and see you in our next video.